Keep watching Charis TV. As a young man that grew up here, you can't believe everything that I told him. It happens to the dot like this. And uh, I say, you have business, you do this. It's just, just like that. But if you can speak with him, Pastor Kule, can you tell them uh, everything, everything? Yes. I greet you all in the name of Jesus. Yes. Uh, what did he say is very, very true. I always say that personally, as I'm still growing in the Lord, I'm the product of grace and I'm a product of charis. Because uh, when I met Daddy, uh, it was 2013, my life really was difficult as a Christian because at that time I did not have a spiritual father. So when I met Daddy, I was working and I had challenges. They were not paying me at work. I mean, my life was just very difficult. It was very, very difficult. And then when I met Daddy, Daddy told me that it's because of the calling. And then at that time, I did not see what Daddy was seeing. But I just believed every word that Daddy said. So Daddy prayed for me and said, at work, they will promote me. But I must not be happy because it won't be for long before God say I must go full time. So it happened that at work they promoted me and then I started traveling all over, everywhere, internationally, overseas and locally, as Teddy had said. And from there, as time went on, Teddy said to me, now it's time for ministry. And then I had to listen to Teddy and I believed every word that Teddy said. And when the work of God started in Harry Smith, Teddy said it will grow in a, in a very short period of time. I believed that word. I said, because my father has spoken, it will happen no matter what. So when I was there, people were laughing. They said, this man is young and his church were just five, ten people. But I believed in what the man of God have said. And from there, people started coming from different provinces and they said, I will now build the church. So before I build the church, I bought a site and then I informed my father that there is a site now and Teddy came and blessed the land. And he prophesied and said, in this place, many things will happen. Everything that Teddy said, I see it happening. So God, by his grace, we built the work of God, we built the church. Teddy came for dedication. The church was dedicated and people laughed again. They said, this church is too big. Who will fill this church? No one will come and fill this church. It's too big for them. And then Teddy said, I must not worry. God will do it. God will bring his own people. And truly, God brought his people. People are saved. People are healed. We see great wonders. Indeed, God is doing it and we are amazed. Amen. This man, you know, after that, uh, there's something that the church, that church has noticed. The church is, it has noticed. But the South Africa has not noticed about this man. This man is a prophet. Uh, I met also his brother. It's true, uh, Teddy. The younger brother also. Yes. Did he met, uh, in fact, Teddy told me that I must not worry about my family. They will be born again when we met. Teddy just said, he sees my family, all of us, they will be born again, and there are many prophets at home. I believed, and I kept on praying and believing what the men of God have said. And my younger brother was a Rastafarian at that time. But I believed what Teddy said. And from there, my brother came to Harry Smith on my birthday. Miraculously, he accepted Christ and Teddy prophesied him. From there, he started prophesying. Two of my brothers, after Teddy prayed for them, now they are overseas. One is in Sweden, one is in, in, in Cuba. 
So, and God is using them as Daddy had said. They are prophesying God is using them mightily in Jesus' name. Uh, you know, that one, uh, from there, he brought the one from Cuba here in my office. Ah, the man can tell you everything about you, your names, your what, what, your what, what. So now think about now, he was only one saved. Now there are three now being used in the family. Can you believe that? It's how God can do. We thank God for his life. Amen. God bless you. In fact, whatever we are saying here is what you will see one day. Because if I met him in 2013, 2013, how many years now? Seven now. Let's call it six. Maybe six and a half. The whole family will be saved. You and your brothers, you are prophets. My brother is a Rastafarian. Because normally we are looking at the present, what situation. Like now, you are looking at your unemployment, isn't it? You are looking at the issue of the... You are looking now, you are not looking where you are going. You are looking at your challenge now. Not knowing that God is taking you to where no one can take you. I want to tell you, God is taking you somewhere. Amen. You must... You know, you must not look at your situation now. Don't look at your present. If a person like Makananisa, if he tell you God will use you, ah, expect something. I just expect something. If I tell you that God will use you, you, ha, ah, use you, ah. Sometimes there are those ones who want to be used by God, but they're supposed to work. So that's another problem. If I say, brother, are you a pastor? Ah, why are you sitting here? He say, I'm not. I, please go and try to do business and do something. Because you saw the example here, isn't it? Eh? You are crying to be a pastor because you saw maybe a, a pastor driving a better car. And you don't have a job, isn't it? Yeah. And when you don't have a job now, you're beginning to say, it's like you're seeing vision, it's like you're seeing vision. I mean, I mean, you enjoy your eyes now. You, it doesn't work that way. You need to wait for God's time. God's time is always the best. Let us not fight to get what we are not. That's why I told people here that you young people, number one, if you're not seeing vision now, don't go to the mountain. Don't go to the mountain, please. Might get a job. Leave prophets to prophesy. They are prophets. And then when you are serving God, God will take you there. But we cannot all be prophets. But Ramudimu. Huh? You cannot be all what? Prophet. What do you want God to do now? Where are the pastors? What about evangelists? Why now even the evangelists now they are becoming prophets? What is going on now? Get your letter. Why is it like now we want money? It's like we don't want God now. Look, look here, you can be a pastor, you prophesy. You can still be evangelist, you have a gift of what? Of prophecy. Somewhere, somehow, you know, you don't need to be a prophet to hear from God. You need just to be faithful to your calling. God will call you when you have good fellowship with him. You understand? He has to speak with you. Don't cry this thing of, uh, I want to be a prophet. I want to, hey, I want my eyes to see, hey. But please leave your eyes. Please leave your eyes. Leave prophets to do what? To prophesy. If you are not seeing market a job, do something. This year is a very great year. I'm telling people of Charis, this year is what? It's a very great year. It's a very great year. Baba, it's a great year. You, you sit down, you play, you write. Okay, you want to do the wedding. You want this, you want... You see, to the core, it will happen. 
to the point. But Uskala, hey, hey, chile tiki tola ka, hey, join, 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 hey, ingi, ingi, hey, hey, it's somebody. Ugasi tola chile, chile te ya chile chai. Your money is having ears, is listening to you. Your problem is having ears, is listening to you. So from today, I believe you people, you are delivered. And just believe the word, it will come to pass in Jesus' name. Amen. If someone come and say, brother, like, let's say you are here. I say, brother, I want to see your calling. Don't be offended. Don't be offended. I mean, at least someone spoke with you. You understand? Otherwise, you can find, you say, no, ah, I'm no longer going there. Ah. No, that man is fighting my calling. Child, take it a toll like I. Your record will be I. That's it. Okay, toll a chill. Your record will be okay, toll. If someone says to you, okay, you're not called. I'm not seeing your calling here. This is the, don't even cry. You go to that person now. How can I meet this man? You understand? So that he explained to me everything. But, okay, sit down. But if someone come and say, you are going to be blessed, you say what? Amen! If someone come and say, I'm seeing poverty. <laughs> I'm sure you understand what I'm trying to say. No, you go to him, you say, I want to find out. Look at this lady here. Stand up. This lady. Just look at, for example, I called this lady. When was that? Um, 9th of December. 9th of December. I say, you, you are marriage material. God is delivering you. Something is happening. Yeah. Now she showed me this. Look, look at this. Are you not happy? I'm happy, Daddy. When was that? It was on the 9th of December, but... Now, 9th of December, before? Before 9th of December, you told me on... November, I forgot the date. I wrote it in my diary home. When did I call you to the office? Um, September. September. The and beginning uh, of November. Huh? The beginning of November. When did you wear this? Uh, on the 26th of December. 26th of December. I, I sit down with her. I say, you, you cannot escape this. Now she's wearing a ring here. Rick, you can see tall if it's a teenage. <laughs> you can see tall with a reformatat. I said, Sister, I spoke many, many things to her. Eh? Yes, Papa, you did. And uh, from there, I told her many things. And I said, You see, you, ah, you, this man, you will marry him. Now she's happy. You're happy? Yes, I'm very happy. <laughs> So, you know your problem is what? You don't listen. Two, you are questioning. Like, your problem, let's start with you, sister. Yes. You.